Hey, welcome back. Good morning. Saturday. Man, I needed some downtime. Alright. So, allegedly, the new suture kits will be here on the 11th, which is tomorrow. I really wanted to use the actual needle and thread to show you a neat way to hold the needle and route it around your little hemostat because it's going to make it real easy, real fast. That's going to be good for you and your patient. Okay, um, another thing, development. I wasn't sure if it was a fiddle back that bit me until today. Check this out. Well, I guess I can't switch the camera. Okay, so I called poison control and they said that they can't do anything until the necrosis of the skin is bigger than the size of a dime. Well, so let's go get a dime here and see just now, necrosis is actually dead flesh, dead skin. And it's, it's black, okay? It turns black. Now, since we're talking about, you know, sutures, let's also talk about wound care and how to deal with some of these things. Now, fiddle, <coughs> excuse me, fiddlebacks, as you know, they have a hemotoxin, which destroys your flesh. It's not like the other poisons, neurotoxins that affect your nervous system, but it can be life-threatening. Um, more than likely, I mean, I, I've worked in wound care for a little while, so I've seen some pretty nasty um, spider bites. So, anyways, check it out. Okay, so what that Band-Aid has on it is just silver water. Okay. See that little black dot? Yeah. Poison Control wants that to be this big before they'll treat me. So, I ain't got time for that. So I just used pure 99.9% .9 pure silver water. This is another good product, okay? Now, when you talk about wounds, the best way to keep them is covered and with some kind of gel antibiotic. So this burn just wasn't healing because I mean, I've been working outside, I couldn't keep a bandage on, I'm sweating. Um, so I started using this tape and just neosporin. I save this for more serious stuff. But let's take a look. Oh yeah. Alright. So you want to change your dressings daily. Alright? And if you're getting, you know, if you're doing work, you know, getting dirty, being nasty, you might want to do it twice a day. So here's what we got. And if you, if you could have seen it when it was, um, when it first happened, just keeping it covered, it has dramatically healed fast, like a lot faster than it was uncovered. So just wanted to show you guys that. Stay tuned. I'm going to use this silver wound care dressing. You can get this. I can't remember where I got it. I'm pretty sure you can probably get it on Amazon though, but that's wonderful. You can also get honey. Yeah, they take honey and mix it into an ointment. And they use pure honey because you can't buy pure honey at the store hardly you can't trust that um, but it works it works real well so just things you know for your toolbox there little things to know we'll keep an eye on this the spider bite if it starts to get any bigger right now it's about half the size of the inside of diameter of a pencil I'm not gonna measure it but I I can see it so if it gets bigger I'm gonna take a half a cc of 99.999% pure silver water and inject it just under the necrosis. Then what's more than likely to happen is the new flesh will generate under it and it'll just kick that little black black tab off and it'll be fine. But I'm going to wait and see if it gets worse before I do that. So anyways guys, thanks for tuning in again. Have a great Saturday. Enjoy yourselves. Off gas a little bit, man. Don't think about Monday. 
<laughs> we'll see you. Stay safe. Stay salty.